Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today we are going with a prism problem. A square prism 35 mm sides of base and 16 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its corner of the base such that the two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make equal inclinations with HP. Draw the projections of the prism the axis of prism is inclined to HP at 40 degree and to BP at 30 degree. So it is the square prism of 35 mm base side and 60 mm axis length. It is resting on HP with one of its corner of the base. Axis is inclined to HP at 40, 40 degree that is theta is equal to 40 degree. Whereas to VP at 30 degree. So as it is axis is inclined, this is a locus problem. First draw horizontal line. Name it as X, Y, V, P, H, P. Now construct a square prism of 35 mm side in HP resting on corner. So as it is resting on corner, so corner has to come. Construct a square, make sure that corner resting like that. So 35, 45 degree from this point, 35 minus 45 degree. Once again, 35, 45 degree, and join this one. Join the diagonals to get the axis. So we have to show the square symbol. in the bracket A1, B in the bracket B1, C in the bracket C1, D in the bracket D1. Now project the points to the XY line. O in the bracket O1. Now, as it is a prism, so axis and other edges are parallel to each other. So we can draw 60 mm from this point also. So 60. We'll leave from this point also 60 mm. And from here also 60 mm. Construct a rectangle. Outer edges are visible. Make that one as darker. And if you see from this side, this is the visible edge. So it has the first preference compared to axis and the hidden edges. So this is also visible. This length is 16. Now this one is A1 dash. B1 is visible whereas D1 is invisible. So it is B1 dash in the bracket D1 dash. So here it is C1 dash. A dash. B dash in the bracket D dash. And this one is C dash. So both O, O1 are invisible. So it is in the bracket O dash, here in the bracket O1 dash. So 
this completes the first position for the second position axis is making an inclination with respect to hp at 40 degree so as the axis and these edges are parallel to each other if axis is making 40 degree means this edge is also making 40 degree so we'll go with edge c dash c1 dash that is 60 mm length draw for an angle of 40 degree so 60 mm is the length angle is 40 degree this is c dash c1 dash now the lines a dash c dash and a1 dash c1 dash both are perpendicular to c dash c1 dash so the length of those two lines are 49.5 mm now from c1 dash draw a line perpendicular to c dash c1 dash for length of 49.5 mm similarly from c dash also 49.5 mm we'll join these two this one is a dash this is a1 dash now we have to get this one this is midpoint of a1 dash c1 dash and a dash c dash from the midpoint to the midpoint b dash in the bracket d dash in the bracket o dash similarly b1 dash in the bracket d1 dash in the bracket o1 dash and the angle will be 40 degree now projecting the points in downward direction Project horizontal. A1, B1, C1, D1. Similarly, A, B, C, D. So outer points are visible. Join that one with continuous thick line. A one two, D one, D, C, B, B one, A one. Now moving to the top face. So top face it is nearer to the observer. It is visible. So that is B to A and A to D are visible. Whereas coming to the bottom face, B one C one. That is this L. Line that is from this midpoint to this line that is B1 dash C1 dash then the thimble B1 C1 behind that one D1 C1 are there those two are away from the observer it is invisible so draw with dotted line next coming to the longer edges 
a1 this one it is nearer to the observer visible that is from a to a1 whereas c c1 whereas c c1 that is this edge away from the observer it is invisible but out of c c1 a c1 already we have drawn with continuous line don't draw for this region only between c to a show the dotted line whereas axis line is coinciding with visible and invisible edges so it has the least preference compared to those two so there is no need to show the axis line but we have to mention the naming and c1 is made up of three dotted lines it has to be written in the bracket in the bracket c1 bottom face is invisible so it is in the bracket o1 top face is visible so it is o so this completes the second position coming to the third position axis is inclined to vp at 30 degree as it is axis is inclined it is the locus prop so first we will draw a 30 degree line This is 30 degree. Now, the original length of axis is 60 mm. Now we'll check the apparent length. That is only between O to O1. It is reduced to 45.96. So earlier it was 60. Now it is reduced to 45.96. So it is a locus problem. So anywhere on this 30 degree line as center, cut an arc for first 60 mm. Now from this point, draw horizontal line. Now from the same center, draw another arc of 45.96 cm. This is O1, whereas the center is O. This one is O. First, join those two points. So O1 is marked. So we have to mark still C and A1. So those two are extension of this O1, and also on this line only we have C1 and A. So C1 and A, the dimensions for those two are O1 to C1, it is 15.91. Similarly, O to A is also same thing, 15.91 only. So O1 as center, 15.91 mm as radius, cut an arc. Similarly, O as center, 15.91 mm as radius, cut another arc. These two will give us C1 and A. Next, still we have to get C and A1 those two dimensions are also same with respect to o1 and o that is 15.91 only this is also 15.91 only but it is extension of the this line it is the extension of that line so from o1 extend the same line extend the same line for 15.91 mm only 
from O. Extend the same line for 15.91 M. So this is A1, whereas this one is C. We can show the angle like this also, 30 degree. So how we are drawn? A1 to A, it is a continuous line. So draw like that. There is a dark line. A1 to A, it is a dark line. Whereas A to C, it is a dotted line. So once it is over, next we have to construct, we have to get another four corners, that is DD1 and DB1. To get that one, BD and B1, D1 are perpendicular to A1C, and it is passing through O and O1 respectively. So drawing the perpendicular lines. The length will be 24.75. From O1, draw line perpendicular to this line. The length will be 24.75. Similarly, in downward direction also. 24.75. Same thing from O also. This one is D. D1. B1. And B. So how we have joined here with respect to each point, the same way draw the lines here also. A1 to B1, dark, continuous to B, C, D, D1, A1. Similarly, B to A, A to D. So that's a dotted line for B1 to C1, C1 to B1. The same way we have to draw here also. So once this is over, now projecting the points. First we will project horizontally. from A1, A1 dash here, so till this line. Similarly, B1, B1 dash is here, till this line. C1 on XY line. T1. Next, similarly, a, B, C, and D.
ये मैडम डैश बी वन डैश सी वन डैश डी वन डैश ए डैश बी डैश सी डैश सी डैश एंड टी डैश जॉइनिंग द आउटर पॉइंट विथ थिक लाइन सी वन डैश टू डी वन डैश ए वन डैश ए डैश बी डैश सी डैश बैक टू सी वन डैश नो एज द बॉटम फेस इज नियर टू द ऑब्जर्वर so bottom face is completely visible that is b1 c1 b1 c1 is this one and a1 b1 is this one these two are nearer to the observer it is visible so c1 dash to b1 dash and b1 dash to a1 dash continuous lines whereas top face is away from the observer it is invisible some of the edges so that is cd cd is away from the observer dotted line invisible That is C dash, D dash. Similarly, A dash, D dash. AD is this one. Uh, sorry, AD is this one. That is also away from the observer. So dotted line, invisible. Next, coming to the longer edges. B dash, B one dash. That is B B one is this one, nearer to the observer, visible. B one dash, B dash, visible. as d dash d1 dash that is this one away from the observer invisible so as d dash it is made up of three dotted lines we have to mark in the bracket in the bracket d dash now we have to show o1 also project the lines Only for O one, and join these two with chain line. As bottom face is visible, so O one dash outside the bracket, top face is invisible. O dash in the bracket, and as it is a locus problem, we have to get the apparent angle also. That is this angle, 41 degree. So apparent angle in the top view it is beta. So we have to write it as beta equals to 41 degree. This completes the problem. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.